what is up everybody welcome back to the channel just wanted to walk you through my email sequence um and kind of just um give you a really inside glimpse of of tags and automations um this stuff is super super important you guys it's it's required if you're if you're trying to build any kind of online business any kind of online business consists of driving traffic to a landing page to either capture a lead or make a sell and after that occurs there's the back end where you have to nurture that lead. You're either going to nurture the lead, you're either going to nurture, yeah, you're going to nurture, nurture the lead. So whether that was a lead that came into your landing page and you just captured a lead, whether that was a lead that came to your landing page and you scheduled an appointment, or whether that was a lead that came to your landing page and you made a sell. After that, after that initial encounter, after that, that lead needs to be nurtured and it's going to happen via email. And so, based on where you want to direct them, based on how you want to segment them, automations and tags are everything. And so your email autoresponder, aka sequence, that's what uh, Karcher calls it, is your sequence. This is where, where, where all the magic happens. So I want to kind of just give you a, a, a look at mine. When you come into your Karcher account, and for those of you that are new to Karcher or never even heard of Karcher, it's for anyone building an online business, bottom line. If you're looking to sell a digital product, if you're selling um, membership courses, all that is done through Kartra. Your digital products, your membership course, your email autoresponder, your landing pages, um, your calendar, your affiliate marketing. Um, so many things can be done inside of Kartra when it comes to building an online business. So if you're new, there's a 14-day trial in the description profitwithkartra.online. But let me just show you this basic sequence and how powerful and how simple this stuff you know, can really be. So you log into your Kartra account, you click my communications, you hover over communications, you click on sequences. So this is a new sequence that I just put together right here. This is a, an email autoresponder, a sequence that goes out after a person opts into my landing page, okay? So they, they come into my landing page, they enter my world, and then, and then now they're on a, on a very specific list, okay? So in fact, let me show you the list. A person opts in, and then they are going to be on this list over here. So this is the one that I just set up, um, registered for web class. So they opt into a page, they are on this list, and then that list it is tied to this email sequence, okay, which is this one right here. So with this, I can pause it. You know, I have a handful of emails that are programmed and set to go out. I can pause it. I can even clone it and just continue to duplicate it and use it for a different campaign, or I can edit it, or I can obviously, you know, delete it. So I'm going to come into the edit. And I can title it, obviously. This public description, this shows when a person goes to unsubscribe or update their email settings. So on any emails that you guys receive, if it's coming from an email autoresponder, if you opt into a list, chances are, you know, any emails following is going to come from an email autoresponder. Then at the bottom of that email, open up any of your emails in your email, um, you know, in your email. And at the very bottom, you'll see some type of description. That's what that is. So you can describe it and, and write out whatever you want. Um, this one here specifically is for a web class that I'm going to be putting on. Um, and so all I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the actual sequence and to the left, you'll see all the different, um, abilities to either send an email. I can send a text. So if on that landing page, I asked for a phone number, I can, I can, I can set up a text where that is programmed and automated to go out. I can add or remove a tag. I can unsubscribe. So these are all different automations um, that I can that I can um, that I can that I can put in here. Split, which I'll I'll explain all this stuff. So as you come in, you're going to have your starting rules. Okay, the starting rules is anyone who opts into this form. So anyone who fills out this form, they are going to receive these following emails. Okay. Now they opt into the form and one hour later in this particular case, and this can go for anything. This can go for a web class. This can go for scheduling an appointment. This can go for making a sell, whatever. The system, I set up split. So all I did is I came over here 
and I grabbed the split and I clicked it and I dragged it over and I connected it right here. Okay, so that's, 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 that's my split. And the split is because it is a web class. It is a video. So, the, so one hour later, the system is going to check if that person watched the video and everything is based on if they have the tag. So if they have this tag, TSREA finished web class, then they go to the true side. If they do not have that tag, then they go to the false side. Okay, so that that's as basic as it gets you guys. And again, if this tag again, let me go back to the to the tag. This tag can be did they finish? Do they have the tag finished web class? It could be a tag of do they have the tag scheduled up appointment? Or they can have a tag made purchased purchased right so you can you can create a tag however based on whatever you want based on based on your funnel and what you're trying to accomplish so again in this case it's a video i am tagging them based on that video and so with that being said the video is hosted on kartra so it's not a youtube video it's not even a vimeo video or a wistia video that video is hosted on kartra and when i host it on kartra it gives me the ability to put a tag so let's say for example it's a 60 minute video 45 minutes in is where the tag is applied so if a person opts in and they watch the video for 45 minutes wherever i want to place that tag i could put it at 50 minutes 55 minutes whatever if they reach that time stamp they're tagged okay and that's again that's that's how the split and that's how the system's going to check did they finish it or did they not okay and so if they did finish it then they come to the true side and then they're gonna they're gonna come and get this first email thanks for attending and that's gonna come one hour later so the split is one hour later this first email goes out immediately which technically is one hour later so one hour after they opt in this is the email they're gonna get now that web class the video that the way i have it set up is i'm actually selling a course so now email number one goes out the system is now checking do they have the tag course student or they do not or do they not or do they do not have the tag course student right so the recipients does not have tag course students that means that right here they're going to receive this first email thanks for attending that means that they didn't purchase up here so yeah they have the tag of finished web class but they do not have the tag that they purchased so they're going to get the first email okay and then down here it, it happens again so this second email here's the gift i promised you that's going to go out one day later and one day later in the recipients we're going to put another tag and that recipients tag is going to say does not have tag course students so still the person has not purchased um, now in each of these emails there's a call to action to purchase and again the only thing that's going to push the 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 the, the following emails is if they don't have the tag so let's cl let's click on this one we go into edit and now the recipients and right here the delay i can delay it one day one hour three days whatever so you can always change the delay to whatever you want and then the day and time i just leave it uh um, by default how it is which which is any day um and then the communications that's just the title and then the gateway it's coming from this email um and then the recipients does not have tags so at this point a few emails later a few days later they still don't have that tag meaning they still haven't purchased so make sure that the emails keep flowing and if i want to go into the email i just click on here and i can write the email this is where i i, I change the text okay so um this right here is agents wasting time doing facebook live so if that tag applies then they receive the next one and then if they still have that tag then they receive this last one now here's what's super powerful is the automation so over here to the left 
All I got to do is come over here to automation. I click on it and I can drag it over. Okay, that's all this is, is click and drag. Super, super simple. Now the automation, here's what my automation is, is, is looking for. So one day later, will you tell me why? That's the last email they're getting in this sequence. Um, this automation is now going to, to, to do a few things. It's going to, it, if the lead reaches this step, right? So if they reach this step, meaning they don't have that tag, they don't have the core students, they have not purchased. If they reach this step, then subscribe them, subscribe them to this list right here. So TSREA finished web class, but didn't buy. So if they reach this step, they're going to automatically be subscribed to that list. And I'm going to unsubscribe them from this current sequence. And even though this is the last email of the sequence, I still don't want that lead accounted for on that sequence list. You know what I mean? So, so I want to take them off that list. So if they, re if, if they reach this step, subscribe them to this list of didn't buy and unsubscribe them from this current sequence, okay? That's an automation, you guys. That is super powerful. You have to be able to segment this list. So now, in the future, this email, or let, let's just say this true side, this sequence, it consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven emails, okay? And then the automation. Once they're, once they're subscribed to a new list, right? So now, in the future, in the future, a day later, a week later, whenever the hell I want, whenever I'm thinking, whenever I have another promotion, whatever, what, what, whenever I'm thinking, whatever I'm thinking in the future that I, that I want to bring value and email this list. Now, here's the list that I would send it to. I would now know who's on this list. So these people who are now going to be on this specific list are people who didn't buy, right? So now I can email that specific list in the future whatever I want, right? Of value, promotional, whatever it may be, right? So that's super important. You gotta be able to take these people off of this list, put them on a different list, and make sure you know who those people are, okay? So same thing applies on the false side. These are people who didn't get the tag, okay? So over here, they're, go they're gonna get that first email because based on the split, do they have the tag finished web class or do they not, right? So that first email on the false side, the recipients, what we're checking for now is another tag. And this one right here is anyone reaching this step because now it's based in off of the split. So the fact that they, they, that they did not finish the web class, the fact that they don't have this tag over here, right, on the split side, so they, they, they don't have the tag TSREA -E -S -E finished web class. So if they don't have that tag, then they're for sure going to the false site and getting this first email. Now, in this first email, I'm obviously pushing them back to watch the web class. So now, one day later, let's say they watch it or they don't. One day later, the automation is now going to check if they have the tag. So do they have the tag finished web class? If the lead reaches this step and the, and the lead finished the web class, then move them to step two. And step two is right here at the top to the true. So the automation is checking if they have that tag. If they actually watched what happened, if they actually ended up watching it, they said, okay, damn, this guy, David, okay, shit, that makes sense. Let me click on it. Let me watch the damn thing. One day later, if they do have the tag and they actually watched it, then they're going to go to the true side and follow down the true row, row and go down that path. But if they don't, then they receive the, e the next email. One day later, another automation is going to check, did they watch it or did they not? And if they still haven't, then they get the next email and so on and so on and so on. So this automation right here, same thing. It's going to check, do they have the tag? Have they actually watched the web class? If they, if they did, send them straight to the top of the true, step two, right? But if they don't, continue the flow. Okay, so if the lead reaches this step and they have this tag, then move them to step two. 
Now, if that is not correct, then they're going to just keep going on on the false side and keep going on and keep going on. Now, here is the last one. So on the false side, all I'm doing is this is a person that registered for my web class but didn't watch it, okay? They're going to receive one email, two emails, three emails, four emails, and five emails, and that's it. And then after the fifth one, one day later, and I can make that a one hour later. I can make it two days later, whatever, but I just do it one day later. The automation, here's what's happening now with the automation. The automation is going to check if they have the tag, and if they don't, then subscribe them to a different list. So lead reaches this step, and lead does not have this tag, so they still haven't watched it. Then subscribe them to this list, didn't finish web class, and, uns and unsubscribe them from this current sequence, okay? Now, the reason why I wanna unsubscribe them, even though they've already reached the bottom and they're not gonna get another email in this sequence, the reason why I still want to unsubscribe them is because I don't want that lead count in that sequ sequence. So right here, look, this is the sequence. So if I left them, if I just subscribe them to another list, they reach the bottom of the true, they reach the bottom of the, of the, um, of the false, then they're subscribed to another list, right? But that lead would still be that lead would still be accounted for, and it would still be sitting in this sequence, which I don't want. I want I want that to be zero. If those two people, you know, are 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 at the bottom and they go to a different list, I want that to go back to zero, right? Because well, I want to be able to track that. I want to be able to look at those numbers in real time and say, okay, there's 57 people that are in this sequence this very second. They're receiving emails this very second, and 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 again, I don't want you know, 10 out of the 57 that already completed the true and false, they've already got to the very bottom, but their numbers are still reflecting there in the 57, right? I want those 10 out. I want them on a completely different list. I want them off of this sequence. And that's why I unsubscribe them. Okay. So right there, you guys, that's, that's based on automations. That's based on tags. In here on my communications, we click on my communications, we come to leads and we click on tags. This right here is super, super powerful. Again, I don't know if you caught my previous videos, but I was talking smack on how I just got done with a very expensive online course um, <clears throat> learning from one of my mentors and every single part of his online business is a separate independent individual service software. He had one software for, cl for countdown clocks. <clears throat> monthly fee. He had another service for his landing pages, monthly fee. He had another service, a separate service for his email autoresponder, separate fee, monthly fee. He had a separate service for his tags, separate service, monthly fee. And I'm like, dang, dude, I can do all this inside a Kartra. Like I don't need multiple services. So this right here is tags. This is just based on activity. That's how you can kind of look at it. If this person clicks here, tag them. If they opt into this form, tag them. If they buy this product, tag them. If they don't buy this product, tag them, right? So this just allows you to be able to categorize everything and be able to systemize everything and, and, and segment every single lead coming through your funnel, no matter what funnel it is. And so in here, all categories, I can go to just the cat. Actually, that's a different category. But again, I can categorize everything, which is super powerful. Let, watch, let, let's just look at my book like the paid book. I have certain tags, okay? Paid book, book customers, they're tagged. Paid book customers who didn't buy a course, they're tagged. People who got to the, to, the, to the checkout but didn't check out, they're tagged, right? So then I can just create email automations for, for, based on these tags. If they bought, send them this email. If they didn't buy, send them that email. You know what I mean? So based on this, this course that I'm putting together, um, this is, these are my tags. So finished web class, course affiliates, finished web class, but didn't buy registered for web class, um, TSRE course students. So all that you guys are just my basic tags. I can come in here. I can click the green button, create a tag. That's it you guys. And then, um, and then I can apply that tag to many, many different things in Kartra. So if you guys are new, man, there's a 14 day trial right below profit with Kartra dot online. 
Um, there's a 14 day trial. Try it out, man. Once you set up your 14 day trial, hit me up, comment below. Let me know you, you got your, your account activated and we'll set up a conference call, a strategy call where we can screen share. I can walk you through it and get you off to a fast start. All right, guys. So that right there is email sequences, step your game up in 2020 and segment your leads. I'll talk to you soon.